I am back. It's Friday again. I love having my videos on Friday because I'm usually happy because it's the weekend. Um, anyway, my video today is sort of going to go off of what Liz talked about on Monday. Um, she was talking about her favorite children's books. And when I was a kid, actually it's kind of still the truth, my favorite children's author is Jerry Spinelli. Um, I'm actually surprised because like all my friends in grade school and middle school knew about him and a lot of people I talk to like that I'm friends with now have never heard of him but he wrote Maniac McGee and my favorite book of his was Crash. We read this out loud in third grade and it was like my favorite book and I would literally read it and then finish it and start it over right again. Like I swear I didn't read a book besides this like all of third grade. Um, most people know him for Stargirl, which is also an excellent book. There's also a second one. Um, but anyway, Jerry Spinelli is my favorite. Funny story, when I was in sixth grade, I think he came out with a book called Milkweed, um, which I should have brought down here to make this video. But anyway, um, which is about a kid during the Holocaust. And my dad and I went to his book signing. It was actually at the Borders near Villanova that's now not in existence because Borders went out of business. Woo! Barnes and Noble Rocks. Anyway, um, we went to his book signing and it was great and we were thinking, well, why don't we ask him if he would come to my school to talk about it because in the book jackets it always says that he lives um, in Chester County. So we asked him and he was like, oh, you know, I usually don't do that. Where do you live? And we were like, oh, we live in Westchester. And he said, well, I live really close to you guys, so, you know, why don't you get in touch with me and we can talk about doing this. So he gave us his phone number. My dad, being the creep that he is, uh, looked up his phone number to find his address on white pages to see exactly where he lived. Surprise, he lived in my neighborhood. So I got super excited and instead of asking him to come to my school, I asked him to come to my uh, book club. Um, we had a mother-daughter book club when I was in grade school. So I picked Milkweed as my book and he agreed to come and basically we become really good friends with their family. His, write, his wife writes poetry and we get a holiday poem every holiday. We'll probably be getting our Halloween one soon. Um, I would I get their mail for them, I would water their plants for them, he'd bring me stuff back from book conferences. He is the sweetest man on the face of the earth. He always wears flannel shirts like no matter how hot it is outside. He loves my mom's cream puffs and I'm just waiting for them to show up in one of his books so keep an eye out for that. But that's my fun childhood story about meeting my childhood idol. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you all have fabulous weekends. Talk to you soon. Bye!